for both of you, but I want to bring in a, a different subject here. Mr. President, I'll be right back with you. Um, at Lorraine Osorio has a question for you about a topic we have this not heard. Governor yes, it's for Governor Romney, and we'll be right with you, Mr. President. Thanks. Is it Lorraine? Lorraine. Lorraine? Lorraine, yes. Lorraine. How are you doing? Good, thanks. President. Um, Romney, what do you plan on doing with immigrants without their green card that are currently living here as productive members of society? Thank you. Gillarain, did I get that right? Good. Thank you for your question. And um, let me step back and tell you what I'd like to do with our immigration policy broadly and include an answer to your, your question. First of all, this is a nation of immigrants. We welcome people coming to this country as immigrants. My dad was born in Mexico of American parents. Anne's dad was born in Wales and is a first generation American. We welcome legal immigrants into this country. I want our legal system to work better. I want it to be streamlined. I want it to be clearer. I don't think you have to, shouldn't have to hire a lawyer to figure out how to get into this country legally. I also think that we should give visas to people, green cards rather, to people who graduate with skills that we need. People around the world with accredited degrees in, in science and math, get a green card stapled to their diploma, come to the US of A. We should make sure that our legal system works. Number two, we're going to have to stop illegal immigration. There are four million people who are waiting in line to get here legally. Those who've come here illegally take their place. So I will not grant amnesty to those who've come here illegally. What I will do is I'll put in place an employment verification system and make sure that employers that hire people who have come here illegally are sanctioned for doing so. I won't put in place um, magnets for people coming here illegally. So for instance, I would not give driver's licenses to those that have come here illegally as the, as the president would. Uh, the kids of, of those that came here illegally, those kids I think should have a pathway to become a, a permanent resident of the United States. And military service, for instance, is one way they would have that kind of pathway to become a permanent resident. Now, when the president ran for office, he said that he'd put in place in his first year a piece of legislation. He'd file a, a bill in his first year that would reform our, our immigration system, protect legal immigration, stop illegal immigration. He didn't do it. He had a Democrat House and Democrat Senate, supermajority in both houses. Why did he fail to even promote legislation that would have provided an answer for those that want to come here legally and for those that are here illegally today? That's a question I think the, the president will have a chance to answer right now. Good. I look forward to it. Was uh, Lorena? Lorraine. Uh, we are a nation of immigrants. I mean, we're just a few miles away from Ellis Island. We all understand what this country has become because talent from all around the world wants to come here. People who are willing to take risks. People who want to build on their dreams and make sure their kids have an even bigger dreams than they have. But we're also a nation of laws. So what I've said is we need to fix a broken immigration system and I've done everything that I can on my own and sought cooperation from Congress to make sure that we fix this system. First thing we did was to streamline the legal immigration system, to reduce the backlog, make it easier, simpler, and cheaper for people who are waiting in line, obeying the law to make sure that they can come here and contribute to our country. And that's good for our economic growth. They'll start new businesses. They'll make things happen that create jobs here in the United States. Number two, we do have to deal with our border, so we put more border patrol on than any time in history, and the flow of undocumented workers across the border is actually lower than it's been in 40 years. What I've also said is, if we're going to go after folks who are here illegally, we should do it smartly and go after folks who are criminals, gangbangers, people who are hurting the community, not after students, not after folks who are here just because they're trying to figure out how to feed their families. And that's what we've done. And what I've also said is, for young people who come here, brought here oftentimes by their parents, have gone to school here, pledged allegiance to the flag, think of this as their country, understand themselves as Americans, in every way except having papers, then we should make sure that we give them a pathway to citizenship. And that's what I've done administratively. Now, Governor Romney just said that you know, he wants to help those young people too, but during the Republican primary, he said, I will veto the DREAM Act that would allow these young people to have access. 
his main strategy during the Republican primary was to say, we're going to encourage self-deportation, making life so miserable on folks that they'll leave. He called the Arizona law a model for the nation. Part of the Arizona law said that law enforcement officers could stop folks because they suspected maybe they looked like they might be undocumented workers and check their papers. And you know what? If my daughter or yours looks to somebody like they're not a citizen, I don't want, I don't want to empower somebody like that. So we can fix this system in a comprehensive way. And when Governor Romney says the challenge is, well, Obama didn't try, that's not true. I sat down with Democrats and Republicans at the beginning of my term, and I said, let's fix this system, including senators previously who had supported it on the Republican side. But it's very hard for Republicans in Congress to support c comprehensive immigration reform if their standard bearer has said that this is not something I'm interested in supporting. Let me get the governor in here, Mr. President. Um, let, let's speak to, if you let's, could, Governor, uh, the idea of self-deportation. No, let, let, let me go back and speak to the points that the president made, and, and, uh, and let's get them correct. I did not say that the Arizona law was a model for the nation in that aspect. I said that the E-Verify portion of the Arizona law, which is which is the portion of the law which says that employers could be able to determine whether someone is here illegally or not illegally, that that was a model for the nation. That's number one. Number two, I asked the president a question I think Hispanics and immigrants all over the nation have asked. He was asked this on Univision the other day. Why, when you said you'd file legislation in your first year, didn't you do it? And he didn't answer. He, don't, he doesn't answer that question. He said the standard bearer wasn't for it. I, I'm glad you thought I was a standard bearer four years ago, but I wasn't. Uh, uh, four years ago, you said in your first year you would file legislation. In his first year, I, I was just getting, I was licking my wounds from having been beaten by John McCain. All right, I was not the standard bearer. My, my view is that this president should have honored his promise to, to do as he said. Now, let me mention one other thing, and that is self-deportation says let, it, let people make their own choice. What I was saying is we're not going to round up 12 million people, undocumented illegals, and take them out of the nation. Instead, let me, people make their own choice. And if they, if they find that, that they can't get the benefits here that they want and they can't, fi and they can't find the job they want, then they'll make a decision to go a place where, where they have better opportunities. But I'm not in favor of rounding up people and, 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 and taking them out of this country. I am in favor, as the president has said, and I agree with him, which is that if people have committed crimes, we've got to get them out of this country. Let me mention something else the president said. It was a moment ago, and I didn't get a chance to, uh, when he was describing uh, Chinese investments and so forth. Candy, hold let on me, a second. Mr. President, I'm still speaking. I'm sorry. Mr. President, why don't you let me finish? I'm, 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 I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue. Sure. Governor Romney, the you can make it, it short. <laughs> See all these people? They've been waiting yeah. for you. Could you Just make it make short? A point. And then... Any investments I have over the last eight years have been managed by a blind trust. And I understand they do include investments outside the United States, including in Chinese companies. Mr. President, have you looked at your pension? Have you looked at your pension? I've got to say. Mr. Pen President, have you looked at your pension? You know, I, I don't look at my pension. It's not as big as yours, so it doesn't well, take as let me, long. Let me, give you some, the, let, me give, uh, let me give you some advice. I don't check it that often. Let me give you some advice. <laughs> look at your pension. You also have investments in Chinese companies. Yeah. You also have investments outside the United States. Yeah. You also have investments through a Cayman's right. Trust. And we are way, we're right. sort of way so, off topic so, Mr. Here, President, Governor Romney. So, we're a little so off topic here. Completely yeah. off the immigration. I thought we were talking about immigration. And we, yeah, I, were, I, can't, so I came back to what you spoke about before. I do want to make sure that... If I could have you sit down, Governor Romney, thank you. I do want to make sure that we just understand something. Governor Romney says he wasn't referring to Arizona as a model for the nation. His top advisor on immigration is the guy who designed the Arizona law, the entirety of it. Not e verify the whole thing. That's his policy. And it's a bad policy. And it won't help us grow. Look, when we think about immigration, we have to understand there are folks all around the world who still see America as the land of promise. And they provide us energy, and they provide us innovation, and they start companies like Intel and Google, and we want to encourage that. Now, we've got to make sure that we do it in a smart way, in a comprehensive way, and we make the legal system better. But when we make this into a divisive political issue, and when we don't have bipartisan support, I can deliver, Governor, 
a whole bunch of Democrats to get comprehensive immigration reform done, and I'll we get can't. It done. I'll we get can't, it done. First year. We, can't, we have not seen uh, Mr. Republicans President, let me move you serious here, about this issue at all. Mr. And President, it's time for them to get serious on it. This used to be a bipartisan away, issue. Right. Don't go away because I'm, I, I'm I, here. I want you to talk to Carrie Latka, who has a, wants to switch a topic for us. Okay. Hi, Karen. Good evening, Mr. President. I'm sorry, what's your name? It's Kerry, Kerry Latka. Great to see you. This question actually comes from a, um, a brain trust of my friends at Global Telecom Supply in Mineola yesterday. We were sitting around talking about Libya, and we were reading and became aware of reports that the State Department refused extra security for our embassy in Benghazi, Libya, prior to the attacks that killed four Americans. Who was it that denied enhanced security, and why? 